Okay, uh, attacks from the mount. I'm in what's called a mid mount now. I'm not high and I'm not in a low mount where I'm great playing. I'm in a mid mount. And my opponent will be keeping his elbows in to defend his arms and defend me from getting into a high mount. So what I need to do is attack his neck to break his defenses down and uh, progress in the position. First, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna open his gi. But when I open his gi by twisting my wrist, I've gotta keep my hand connected to his shoulder so that as he's moving and trying to escape, I still have some balance. I don't wanna open the gi and then he moves and then I have to let go to put my hand on the mat. So that's first, I open the gi to make space to get my arm in to attack the neck. Now, I can go over his arm and just with my thumb, get my knuckles all the way to the mat, or if he's defending here, I go between his arms. And there will be a bit of a game there, but I have gravity on my side. I'm eventually gonna win this battle. And get my knuckles all the way to the mat, and let's remember it's just the thumb. Now that my hand is here, I'm gonna face out here. Because obviously, I'm susceptible to being rolled this way. So I won't have an even weight distribution. My weight will be to this side. Now my elbow is not gonna go across his neck. It's gonna go down his chest. And that's gonna make it lighter on this side for me to slide my knee under his arm. And now I'm starting to progress. This is a staggered mount. My left heel is still very tight to his hip. My weight is on this side of my body because I have a kickstand here. He cannot sweep me this way. He would be able to sweep me that way. However, my weight is here. Now that I'm here, I'm going to either attack a cross choke or an arm bar. Normally, I attack the cross choke and they defend, and then I go to what's called an S mount and an arm bar. But first, let's show the cross choke where they're not defending. Remember, this grip is very deep. I got my knuckles to the mat. Now this hand's gonna come across, and I'm just gonna connect to his neck, and for, for the sake of speed, I'm just gonna grab this wrinkle here. My wrist is across his neck. I put my knees back on the mat, my weight over and twist. Notice my weight is over the choke, and I'm not bending my elbows. <laughs> I'm twisting, keeping my wrist straight. That's the cross choke, fantastic attack. Now, oftentimes, when I'm here in the staggered mount, when I reach here, my opponent will defend this grip, and rightfully so. But that is now gonna allow me to straighten and swoop this leg, and then I'm gonna point this knee to his ear and keep my weight off my hips, but on my partner. So, I'm in the staggered mount, I go to threaten the cross choke, which he respects to defend, I swoop my leg, and I turn my knee to his ear. Now, all of my weight is on Bruno's body. I'm gonna push his arm, hug this arm, and make sure this leg goes around his head before I sit back for the arm bar. Pull your heels in tight, pull this arm, knees tight, and finish the arm bar. In a little more real time, I'm here. I bring my thumb in, transfer my weight, over down, slide up, go to the cross choke, he defends, swoop, put my weight on my partner. If the arm is there, there's nothing necessary. If it's hidden, I hook, I push, step over the head prior to falling back. Pull your partner to you, knees tight, control the wrist.